Hi guys, it's Draws Mikhail here, and welcome back to another episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn, and today we'll be going into the world 3 and the 4. And, uh, this- I like this game, it's a pretty fun game. I- Okay. Its main, uh, problems are that it's- it's like this new Super Mario Bros. Wii. It just doesn't have any soul to it. It's just like, oh, here's the star. The other game had the star, I think it was called The Thing. No, it didn't. But oh well. They really didn't do much with this game. They're just kind of like, oh, the Kirby game. I mean, I, I would have liked it if, like, the, uh, if they did the original designs, which was like a pop-up book. And, by the way, go down here always, because... Secrets! Ah! Uh, the original design was to have, like, either a pop-up book or the design of a fucking, what is it? Uh, a, a 3D game? That's like, uh, what is it? Isometric? I, yeah, I think it's isometric view, and it was like an isometric 3D, actual 3D platform or Kirby game. I would like that. It would have been useful. I mean, it wouldn't have been probably as good as this, but it would have been different. And lots of Kirby games are like, as many people have said, they're, they're like, uh... They've been the tests, because Kirby's such a simple character. I mean, they... They had, like, a Canvas Curse, which is all about only touch c controls, and they had Squeak Squad. Uh, not that much, but... They had... Mass Attack! Oh, Mass Attack was... Eh. They also had... Fucking, what was that game? It was the Amazing Mirror. I have it. I don't even know why I didn't remember it. Oh, well. So this level is just boring, it's a cave level. Whoopee, a cave level. I, I wanted to know how to do the, su the super circle uh, revolution beam. You have to just continually hit one in midair. God damn it. God damn it, cannonball snipe! God damn it! There I go, I did it. It's a circle. Yay. And Kirby's Epic Yard. What's different about this level? I didn't even say the right name of the game. That's stupid. So what's different about this level is the cave. There are waddle -doos, Which are actually kind of common in most other games, but this one, nah, nah, not that much. <sighs> and as you can see, the pineapple. I should have left that there. Oh well. Whoops. Uh, secrets galore in these things, but I I just have some few things to say. This game I I, I like it a bit, but I I do wish I could have played it with friends because they're like, oh, he, man, draws. Why do you why do you even if you're not gonna have friends? And I, I'm gonna have a multiplayer episode hopefully if I if I don't fuck that. And I I don't think I can be skilled today because. Uh, I I just I can't think. It's, you have you ever had one of those days where like uh excuse me repeat that, and you had to do that for every single person, every single conversation, every single sentence. No, that'd be stupid. But I it didn't happen to me. It it kind of happened to me. I, it was like every other sentence. Cause I was distracted. I want to play War Thunder again. Cause War Thunder is such a great game and all. But I'm so glad just to be back playing Kirby. Yeah. Two, I'm second rate. Thanks, game! Thanks for judging me. You don't even know me! Fuck you! Okay, that was a bit much. But oh well. Now to the next level! It's up in the air, which signifies that there will be bullshit. <sighs> there will be much bullshit. Anyways, this level is all about the platforms. And, uh, I don't know. So, the falling background, they had that in the Donkey Kong Country Returns. So, that was something. Oh no. And in the making of this episode, uh, I lost some audio, I don't know. Uh, that was bad. So, the, flat f the background falls on you because it decided to be a total dick and do that. And if you would notice, in the side of the wall, there was a hole. And in the hole, there were some star bits. 
Show this. See, that's another thing I don't like about this game. It has to give you signboards to tell you where to where to go and what to do. It's not Mega Man Xing it. It's just being annoying. It. You see. And as you see, I'm trying to go back here and find a super special secret, which doesn't appear unless you do some right things. And I didn't do those right things until later. And then I find the secret. Because I know it by heart now. Uh. Because, uh... It takes a bit of knowledge to know where it is. Uh. Those who have played this game and found the secret know what I'm talking about, or even just looked on the wiki. Or just saw it! I don't care. There's a lot of ways you can see shit nowadays. It's the bad part about games. See, the secret would be here, but it's not. So we have to change that. So I'm just gonna... You have to go up on that corner, and then... You have to go back, and look! There's an indent in the floor. And green greens. Ah, oh, so nice. This secret is known as a Howl Room. It has incurred in, occurred in many Kirby games. I th the first one I think can think of is Kirby's Adventure for the NES. And it's basically just free stuff. Hooray. So, all, I, all that's here is Ninja, Hammer, Bird, I mean Wing, and Fighter. See, Wing is... I don't like Wing that much. Uh, hammer and fighter are really good. Hammer's rare, really rare. I don't think it's that good anymore. Yeah, it, it can't. It does do the most damage in the game, but as you can see, I just went with ninja because who? If you have in the ability to become a ninja in a game, wouldn't you want to do it? I mean, if you're like, oh, I'm playing Legend of Zelda, but if the second player can be a ninja, I'm not going to be the second player. Because I'm... <sighs> no, that's a, that was a bad example, I'm sorry. And Lucky Candy. So I think this is the first appearance. It's basically an invincibility star. I love how that that's become so mundane that it's become the staple. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Why? Why? Why has video games come to this? But, uh, I digress. In here we have the, uh, the caves of whatever or something. And I- oh, I, uh, The worst thing in the world is to lose your ninja. And I would know, because it happens multiple times in every episode. And I only get it like twice. Maybe once. And we got the rainbow French horn, which uh, gives you an umbrella. And this is also bad design because, oh, here, have a rainbow French horn. Guess what I can do? Everything you want it to do in this specific area. Good job. <sighs> there you are, the better rainbow tube. It does have a limit, but, ah. Uh. And that's another thing I like about this game, is you can choose not to, uh, get, get, uh, the rainbow tuba, and it'll be incredibly hard. Because y you don't have the super OP weapon of doom, but the level is based around it, so even if you have like an OP ability, you can s might be able to get out just fine, and then you can. There's a second one always, and you can have so much fun with that, and it's, ah, it's so great! Uh, I changed my tone because the original recording of this, I thought it was like. I thought it was too fucking thing. It was too uh, pessimistic, and I didn't like that in the video. And there's the Super Fire Octopus number 578. I don't like him, so I'm not going to eat him. I mean, why eat someone that you don't like? That makes no sense. It's like being Ted Bundy. Do you want to be Ted Bundy? Oh yeah, I suppose Kirby is the uh, equivalent to that in five, way in five countries, I suppose. Those countries being uh, Uzbekistan, Germanic, and... Uh, Georgeville, the third. I don't like the second one because fuck it. I think that was only the one less, so the last one is uh, is Germany. 
German Beck is a <laughs> is a different country. I hope you know. Uh, so these springy things of doom, they have uh, they have floaters on them because they. I feel like they want to bounce on water, but I don't think they know you can't do that because uh, water is just liquid matter, and you can't you can't run on liquid unless you're a basilisk or some shit like that. <sighs> Wizards, fuck. So well, this is the end of the level, and coincidentally, well, not fucking coincidental at all, it is the end of Javidia and the goal game. I wonder what to do. Oh, press two? I would have never fucking thought. Oh, first place. Uh, what do I win? What do I fucking win? I guess I'm I'm taking a shot in the dark. It, 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 it's, it's coins, no stars. God damn it! Yeah. So, in the next episode of Draws Mikhail and the Kirby Adventure, whatever, we fight the hardest boss of all fucking time. Yeah.